this summer in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I've always wanted to do a dramatic opener to one of my videos. But anyway, let's jump back into the real video. So welcome to Los Angeles, the city I currently call home. This city is known around the world for the entertainment industry, Hollywood, cool nightlife, and year-round good weather. And now it's known for something you might not expect. If you live in LA, you might see some mini minion looking robots that are roaming the streets. They're actually delivering food for more than 300 restaurants for Uber Eats, courtesy of Serve Robotics. So for me, I started seeing these robots on the streets of West Hollywood about a year ago. So I start to do a little bit of research and I find out that these robots are made by a company called Serve Robotics and they make autonomous robots for food delivery services like Uber Eats, 7-Eleven and Pizza Hut. So the robots work and operate currently in two locations across Los Angeles. They work in West Hollywood, which is a very built up neighborhood with lots of cafes and restaurants and are all located very closely to each other. The other area they operate is down near the beach in Santa Monica. Now, both of these neighborhoods are super packed with people. We're talking high traffic area, lots of people on the sidewalks, cars, uneven roads, basically lots of hazardous areas these robots could get into trouble. So you're probably wondering like I did, how the heck do these robots navigate all of this? Well, let me break it down for you and take a closer look at one of these robots. Now let's first talk about the autonomous navigation system, which is located on the top here. Now this is the robot's high tech brain. It combines LiDAR, GPS and advanced sensors as well as cameras at the front of the robot. Now this system allows the robot to map its environment and makes real time quick decisions to avoid obstacles and even reads traffic signals. Now it can also navigate sidewalks and can react to unexpected situations, much like a self-driving car. There's a lot of tech packed into this small system. Now the next bit of tech is the battery and power management. Now this means that the robot can autonomously return to its charging station when its power is running low, making sure that it's always ready for delivery. This leads me on to the next bit of tech and it's the cargo compartment. Now this is where the goods are stored during transit. This isn't just a regular storage, it's a fully climate controlled compartment to keep the food hot when it needs to be and cold when it needs to be refrigerated. It also has electronic locks and secure authentication, so it can only be opened by customers who enter a code or access it through the app. But with any new tech that drops on the market, as good as it is, there's always a downside. <laughs> Viral TikTok videos appear to show people tampering with these autonomous delivery drivers. In this case, stealing the contents inside, tossing them over, and even kicking the robot en route to deliver food. Vandals targeting the new tech. Now, it's no secret that LA has a huge homelessness and crime problem. And like you, I was kind of wondering, how are these robots going to handle all of this? Are they just left to their own autonomy, just roaming the streets of LA, going from delivery to delivery? And what happens when they get into trouble? So I did a little bit of research and I found out that these delivery robots are monitored by a control center. Each robot sends back info about its location, what's around it, and its mechanical health all in real time. Now this helps the control team to see exactly what the robots see and know how they are doing. When a robot runs into a tough spot, say a crowded sidewalk or a crazy person wanting to attack the robot, the control team steps in. The robots for the most part are fully autonomous, but there is always a human ready to help when needed. And there you have it, the autonomous robots of Los Angeles. Now it does kind of feel like we're living in the year 3000 here. It really makes you think, where are we gonna go in the future with all this AI and robotic tech? I think over the next decade, we're really gonna see our cities completely change. Well, that's a wrap on this video. My name's Nick Gulliver. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.